The Vancouver Canucks announced on Tuesday that forward JT Miller will be taking an indefinite leave of absence. The leave is for personal reasons. The team did not provide further details. Miller's absence is effective immediately. He will not be with the team for upcoming games. This announcement comes as a surprise to many. Miller has been a critical part of the Canucks lineup. He is one of their top scorers and a leader in the locker room. Fans and analysts are left wondering about the circumstances surrounding his departure. The Canucks organization has emphasized its support for Miller during this time. General Manager Jim Benning released a statement. He said the team's priority is Miller's well-being. He asked for privacy for Miller and his family. The team has not provided a timeline for Miller's return. It is unclear when he will be back on the ice. The Canucks will need to adjust to his absence. He is a vital part of their team. JT Miller's absence comes at a difficult time for the Vancouver Canucks. The team has been facing a series of challenges this season, and Miller's absence only adds to their woes. The team is struggling to meet expectations. Fans and analysts alike had high hopes for the Canucks this year, but the results have been disappointing. Miller's performance this season has been under scrutiny. His every move on the ice is analyzed, and the pressure is palpable. He signed a seven-year, $56 million contract extension with the Canucks in September. This was a significant commitment from the team, showing their belief in his abilities. The deal begins next season. This contract makes him one of the highest paid players on the team, and with that comes immense pressure to perform. It makes him one of the highest paid players on the team. This brought high expectations. Fans and management alike expected him to lead the team to new heights. Miller started the season strong. He was a key offensive contributor, scoring goals and making plays that energized the team. He was a key offensive contributor. He scored goals. His early season form was a beacon of hope for the Canucks. He created scoring chances for his teammates. His vision on the ice and ability to set up plays made him invaluable. However, his production has dipped in recent weeks. The goals have dried up and his influence on the game has waned. Some analysts have suggested that Miller is feeling the pressure of his new contract. The weight of expectations can be a heavy burden. They point to his recent performances. The dip in form has coincided with increased scrutiny and criticism. Others believe that external factors are influencing his play. Off-ice issues and team dynamics can often impact a player's performance. There are whispers of locker room tension. Rumors suggest that all is not well behind the scenes. These rumors have not been confirmed. The team has remained tight-lipped about any internal issues. Regardless of the reasons, Miller's absence leaves a significant hole in the Canucks lineup. His versatility and skill set are hard to replace. He is a versatile player. Miller's ability to play multiple positions makes him a valuable asset. He can play center or wing. This flexibility allows the coach to deploy him in various situations. He is a key part of both the power play and the penalty kill. His presence on special teams is crucial for the Canucks' success. As the season progresses, the Canucks will need to find a way to cope without Miller. His return will be eagerly anticipated by fans and teammates alike. The team must rally together and find a way to overcome this adversity. The road ahead is challenging, but with determination and teamwork, they can still turn the season around. For Miller, the focus will be on recovery and returning to his best form. The Canucks need their star player back at his peak to achieve their goals. The journey is far from over, and there is still hope for a successful season. With Miller's return, the Canucks can aim for a strong finish and possibly a playoff spot. Until then, the team must dig deep and find the resilience to push through this tough period. Every player will need to step up and contribute. The coaching staff will play a crucial role in navigating this challenging phase. Their strategies and decisions will be key to the team's success. Miller's journey this season has been a roller coaster, but his talent and determination are undeniable. The Canucks and their fans will be hoping for a triumphant return. As the season unfolds, all eyes will be on JT Miller and the Vancouver Canucks. The story is still being written and there is much to look forward to. Stay tuned for more updates on Miller's season and the Canucks' journey. The best is yet to come. The mood in the Canucks locker room is somber. Players are expressing support for their teammate. They are also grappling with the uncertainty surrounding his absence. Captain Bo Horvat spoke to the media. He said, It's tough to see a teammate go through something like this. Horvat emphasized the importance of rallying around Miller. He said the team is sending him positive thoughts. He hopes for his speedy return. Other players echoed these sentiments. They expressed concern for Miller's well-being. 
Head coach Travis Green acknowledged the challenges. He said the team needs to come together. They must support each other. Green emphasized the importance of focusing on the things they can control. The team must focus on the next game. General Manager Jim Benning reiterated the organization's support for Miller. He emphasized the need for privacy. He said the team will provide updates when appropriate. Section 4, Filling the Void, Adapting to Miller's Absence With Miller out indefinitely, the Vancouver Canucks face a significant challenge. Miller has been a cornerstone of the team, contributing not just with his scoring and assists, but also with his leadership on and off the ice. His absence leaves a gaping hole that the team must urgently address. They must find ways to replace his production. This means not only finding someone who can score goals and make assists, but also someone who can inspire and lead the team during tough times. They need to maintain a competitive edge. The Canucks are in a critical phase of the season, and every game counts. The team must stay focused and work harder than ever to keep their playoff hopes alive. The team has already been hit hard by injuries. Several key players are sidelined, making the task even more daunting. The depth of the roster will be tested, and every player will need to step up. Coach Green has hinted at lineup changes. He understands the gravity of the situation and is prepared to make bold moves to keep the team competitive. He will need to shuffle lines to compensate for Miller's absence. This could mean promoting younger players or changing the roles of existing ones to find the right balance. Young players may have opportunities. This is a chance for them to prove their worth and make a significant impact on the team. They can showcase their skills. Players who have been waiting for their moment can now step into the spotlight and demonstrate their abilities. One player who could see an increased role is Niels Hoglander. Hoglander has been impressive this season, showing flashes of brilliance that have caught the eye of both fans and coaches. He is a skilled winger. His agility, speed, and puck handling skills make him a valuable asset to the team. He has shown flashes of brilliance this season. His ability to make quick decisions and execute plays under pressure has been a highlight. He could get a chance on the top line. Playing alongside the team's best players could elevate his game even further. He could see increased power play time. This would give him more opportunities to contribute offensively and gain valuable experience. Another option is Vasily Podkoltsin. Podkoltsin is a promising rookie who has shown great potential. He is a promising rookie. His physicality and offensive instincts have been impressive, making him a strong candidate for a bigger role. He has impressed with his physicality and offensive instincts. His ability to play a tough physical game while also contributing offensively makes him a valuable asset. He could be given a bigger role in Miller's absence. This is a chance for him to step up and show that he can handle the pressure of playing at a higher level. The Canucks will also need players to step up in leadership roles. With Miller out, the team will need other players to fill the leadership void. Miller was a vocal presence. His ability to motivate and inspire his teammates was invaluable. He was not afraid to hold his teammates accountable. This kind of leadership is crucial, especially during challenging times. Players like Horvat, Tanner Pearson, and Tyler Myers will need to fill that void. These players have the experience and leadership qualities needed to guide the team through this difficult period. The road ahead will be tough, but the Canucks have the talent and determination to overcome these challenges. Every player will need to give their best effort, and the team must come together as a cohesive unit. The support of the fans will also be crucial. Their unwavering support can provide the team with the extra motivation needed to push through adversity. The Canucks must stay focused and continue to work hard. With the right mindset and effort, they can navigate this challenging period and emerge stronger. Adapting to Miller's absence will not be easy, but it is an opportunity for the team to grow and develop. By stepping up and supporting each other, the Canucks can turn this challenge into a chance for growth and success. Section 5. A Season of Adversity Injuries Plague the Canucks The Vancouver Canucks have faced a season filled with unexpected challenges and setbacks. Injuries have become a recurring theme, casting a shadow over their campaign and testing the team's resilience and depth. JT Miller's indefinite leave of absence adds to a growing list of challenges for the Vancouver Canucks. Miller, a pivotal player known for his leadership and on-ice contributions, has been a significant loss. His absence is felt not just in the locker room, but also in the team's overall performance. The team has been plagued by injuries this season. It's not just the star players who are affected, 
the injury bug has bitten deep into the roster, affecting players across all lines and positions. Key players have missed significant time. The absence of these players has disrupted the team's chemistry and forced the coaching staff to constantly shuffle lines and strategies. Defenseman Quinn Hughes, a cornerstone of the Canucks' blue line, has been sidelined with an injury. Hughes's ability to control the game from the back end and his offensive contributions are sorely missed. His absence has created a void on the power play. The Canucks' power play, once a formidable weapon, has struggled to find its rhythm without Hughes's presence and playmaking abilities. It has weakened the team's defensive depth. The remaining defensemen have had to step up, but the loss of Hughes has left a noticeable gap in the team's defensive structure. Forward Brock Bozer, another key offensive weapon, has also missed games. Bozer's scoring touch and ability to create opportunities have been sorely missed. He is dealing with an injury. The nature of his injury has kept him out of the lineup, further depleting the Canucks' offensive arsenal. His absence further depletes the Canucks' scoring options. The team has struggled to find the back of the net consistently, and Bozer's injury has only compounded these issues. It puts more pressure on the remaining forwards. Players like Elias Pettersson and Bo Horvat have had to shoulder a heavier load, often facing the opposition's top defensive pairings. The Canucks' injury woes extend beyond these key players. The list of injured players includes several depth players who play crucial roles in the team's overall strategy. Depth players have also been sidelined. This has forced the team to dig deep into their reserves, calling up players from the AHL and other leagues to fill the gaps. This has tested the organization's depth. The Canucks have had to rely on their farm system and young prospects to step up and perform at the NHL level. It has forced the team to rely on inexperienced players. These young players, while talented, lack the experience and poise of their injured counterparts, leading to growing pains and inconsistent performances. These injuries, combined with Miller's absence, have put the Canucks in a precarious position. The team has had to adapt on the fly, often playing with a patchwork lineup that struggles to find cohesion. They are already struggling to keep pace in a competitive Pacific division. The injuries have only made it more challenging to compete against well-rested and fully healthy opponents. Overcoming these challenges will require resilience, adaptability, and a bit of luck. The Canucks must dig deep, rely on their team spirit, and hope for a speedy recovery for their injured players to turn their season around.